do you know who's in your circle of trust? Right? Meet the parents and the sequel. For those who remember those movies from years back. Do you know who are those top two, three, five? Chances are not more than five people in the very inner circle of trust. And you have others concentric circles and it expands. They're both personal and professional, but who's at the very core, right? Your kids, your spouse, your siblings, your parents, best friend, a colleague or two, who's in that circle? Once you've done that inventory, think about doing the following thing. This is something I learned from a friend a few years ago and I was reminded of it recently. And here's how it goes. This particular individual does this no more than once a year, sometimes every three, four, five years when he's doing major professional life changes, when he was thinking about moving across the country and across the world, when he was completely changing his career and profession and so forth. He would meet with each of those people in person, one-on-one, and ask them for honesty and truth about how do they see this individual? What do they like about them? What don't they like? What they could improve on? What are their true strengths? Where do they believe they belong and fit in their profession? It's an interesting thought and an interesting procedure and process that I'm willing to bet most of us have never done. How many of us have went to our top three or five people who know us best and say, when it comes to me, what stands out? When it comes to leadership, when it comes to work ethic, when it comes to professionalism, courtesy, communication, empathy, understanding, teamwork. I'm assuming, obviously, I'm here focusing mostly on the professional environment. What stands out? What do you think is good? What do you think I'm good at? And what are the things that you, I could probably improve upon? It's an interesting process. It's an interesting exercise. This particular individual has done it more than once in their life and... It is very intriguing, and it's something that potentially could be valuable to many of us if we were to find the time to sit one-on-one -on -one with each of those individuals who are closest to us and know us the best and have some honest conversations. No hurt feelings, no hard feelings, straight truth. Tell me what I'm good about. Tell me what I'm good at. Tell me where I'm bad at. What do you think about me when you hear about me, when I come to mind? What are the qualities and strengths that I exemplify? And what are maybe some of the things, um, some of the capabilities or attributes that I have that could be frustrating, challenging, and annoying? Think about that. Create your list and give it a shot. Let me know how it goes. I have done it with a person or two regularly, not part of a process. I regularly have conversations with a few folks, but um, I am potentially considering expanding it to include a couple other folks. So have a wonderful day. I wish you all the best. As always, if this is the first video you see, please consider subscribing and sharing it with your friends and colleagues. Most importantly, leave your thoughts below on the topic I just covered. Have a great day.